We have asked all importers that they must go through the process, which means they must tell us where they are buying it from. If they can send a lot number, a batch number, um, expiry date, when it's scheduled to leave and when it will arrive. Um, so that we can verify that in point of fact those match because you know that they are falsified tests. Um, the two entities that uh, brought in the sample, the SD biosensor, have brought it in from suppliers in Miami. The Ministry of Health is not using a second buyer. Uh, the last batch well, that we got is through PAHO, and we now have quotations through UNICEF to get it at almost, um, I mean, the cheapest price that you're going to be able to get. But we have no intentions of using any of the suppliers that are going to start to import. I can tell you that there's a significant amount of people that are asking to import um, rapid test kits. We um, went back to review what the international data is suggesting and we are going to be doing testing. You know, once you're made the diagnosis, you will be tested again at day 14 to see if you're positive or negative. The consensus that has been determined by the team based on science is that if you are positive, the team at day 14 will do a clinical assessment of you. And if you are asymptomatic and have been asymptomatic for three days, if you're clinically okay, even if you're positive, you will be given a letter by the local quarantine authority to say, to say that you are no longer under quarantine. And we will ask that you come back 14 days later for another swab to determine if you have been, if you are now negative then. But the science will tell you that usually after 10 days, for the most part, people are not infectious. Uh, or if you had symptoms three days after symptoms, you're no longer going to be infectious. Um, in some countries, they are not doing any more testing. After 14 days, they tell you you're recovered and you go back to doing what you were doing before. But we will still swab people at day 14. If they are positive, we'll swab you again at day 28. Now, why is there a gap? It's because we are finding out that people who are positive at day 14, a good amount of them are still positive at day 21. So it's becoming overwhelming for the staff to be able to keep up with all the testing as you discover more and more numbers. So that memo is going out to public, um, uh, to all the public settings um, for, for people to be able to review.